Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today I'd like to show you guys a free to play online card game called Cards. And it is a World War II based card game that is a little bit to me like a Magic the Gathering, not completely so, but some of the, the mechanics are similar when you think about them. So it's seem to be really easy for me to pick up and play and I do like the World War II theme obviously and uh, if you know my channel you know I like Tiger Tanks and they have a Tiger Tank here in the opening screen so I've played through the tutorial so far and it looks like I earned two packs of cards it is a free to play game but it looks like there is a shop here so they are monetized by buying packs of cards. Uh, but it looks like we're able to play for free. And there's some rewards down here at the bottom. Uh, what I'm interested in, you can play PvP. But I would like to try one of the campaign modes with you guys. Just to see how it goes. And I love playing Germany in World War II games. So let's try that. Oh, it looks like there's a North Africa campaign here. Uh, looks like the only one that is available for free is El Alamein. So let's go ahead and try that one. Play the first scenario for free. Egypt, North Africa, May 26th, July 27th, 1942. Okay, got an 88 over there. Got a German truck and a motorcycle, a crash Schutzen. Campaign details. After an early Italian aggression, Britain went on the offensive. This prompted the Axis powers to send Rommel to Africa to take command. After months of back and forth fighting in Libya, Rommel's Africa Corps Corps is ready to strike for real. Your objective is to liberate Tobruk, drive the British back into Egypt, and threaten Alexandria and the Suez Canal. You have the Africa Corps alongside some Italian forces at your disposal facing the British 8th Army. So, this is the, the famous battle of El Alamein where Rommel steps into the theater and things start happening. And I uh, played through this scenario many times on Panzer General 1, Panzer General 2, Panzer Corps 1, Panzer Corps 2. <laughs> so this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, Gazala is free. Strategies, Italian column, tactical maneuvering, supply escorts. And then you could, it tracks what your best run here is. I'd rather go with the tactical maneuvering. That looks like that's the uh, German strategy. Select a strategy to use throughout this campaign. The selection will affect your forces. You can select another strategy when you replay the campaign. Rommel, the Desert Fox, has proven his tactical prowess time and time again, and we should give him a free reign in getting the most out of our troops. Having him conduct our forces like a maestro, his, or maestro, his orchestra makes them work together in a total harmony giving the whole greater strength than the individual pieces. It can be a risky strategy, but risk often has greatest reward. Let's confirm that. Battle of Gazala. The British reeling from a recent failed attack are holed up in an entrenched position stretching from the town of Gazala on the coast of Bir Akim to the south. The Gazala line with its minefields and barbed wire fences has been a tough barrier for us to cross in the past but if we manage it Tobruk is at our mercy and the way to the Egypt Egyptian border is clear uh, this was one of Rommel's personal armored cars uh, it says grief which means griffin so I think that was Comme de Griffin and there are actual pictures that I've used for thumbnails of my videos uh, with this uh, armored car here on it so that's pretty cool. Looks like you got a Panzer three down here at the bottom. Okay, so we get some rewards. We get some Africa regiments there. 
Destroy the enemy HQ. Okay, so we're going to go into the card game here, obviously. We're not going to see a tactical map. You get plus three additional credits on one turn. On turn one? Okay. So credits are like mana. And that's over here. And you're not playing mana or lands. You're actually just getting the credits. I think it's one on the first turn, two on the third, three on the fourth, so on and so forth. It might max out at a certain turn. I'm not entirely sure here. The French at Beer Akim are the biggest hurdle in breaking through the enemy defenses. The sooner we can dispatch them, the better. Okay, it says confirm. I don't... Do I have another choice? I don't think so. The tutorial was actually a lot of fun to play. Okay, so we get to act first. But the French are on the front line. So this is their defensive line. This is ours. And the French occupy the front line. So there's kind of like when you occupy the front line, ground units can attack um, your base. It's a very interesting mechanic. Really cool. Okay, so we have four mana to play these cards. You see the, val the values here. I can pop all four to play a card down on the field. BF-110. It's a tactical fighter bomber. Joint operation. Deal one damage to target enemy equal to one plus the number of unit types you control. So that would be two damage. Panzer Grenadier. Deployment gets 1-1 one, one for each non-infantry unit type you control. Panzer 35T, that check tank. So he can come down and act immediately. Reduce operational cost by 1 if you control an infantry. It looks like we have a pack 38. Deals triple damage to tanks. I would like to preserve that if we could at all. I think you go with the bomber here? The bomber could deal with a couple of the threats, but if I put the Panzer down, the Grenadiers, in the 38T, they're going to be able to deal out a little damage, but they're also going to die right away. Let's go with the BF-109, and we're out of move, so we'll pass the turn. Credits. Oh, wow. So that happened anyway. So what we can do is get down all the tanks first and then deploy the Panzer Grenadier. And then we'll get a 1 1 for each non infantry unit type we control. So that's another strat we could go for. Flanking maneuver, deal two damage to any any unit. Okay. That'll take him down a little bit. So we could deal another two with that, but all we can really do is get the Panzer two down, two A. So he's probably just gonna knock that aside. No, he took the pack out. That would have been good against uh, the Hummer MK2. Okay, so now we have three credits. When this unit moves into the front line, deal three damage to the enemy HQ. That's pretty cool. Africa Regiment. thinking about last hitting this guy right here. And then this guy will eventually be able to whittle down the Panzer II, but not yet. So kind of a back and forth battle here. Maybe I should have just taken some hits to my HQ here to preserve my units until I had an overwhelming force. 
probably would have been the best. So if I get one infantry down, it's going to make this cheaper? Oh, the operational cost. So once it's down, it only costs one to operate. Okay. So far, not looking too good. We just need to break the line here. They only have 10 HP on their uh, their base over here at Gazala. And this unit can attack twice. It looks like a Daimler Dingo, but it says hum Hummer Mark II. Okay, so this guy can come down with a Blitz and attack immediately. Like in that aspect. We could attack for zero. Can we get this guy down? Or maybe we can't. Not, not sure why that was. Something that I don't understand there. It's okay. These guys can attack. And I'm going to do it because this guy can attack twice. So this guy's going to be able to roll up and probably take him out. But that's okay. Let's keep these guys. I can move this guy up. Let's keep him on the defensive line here. Once you move <laughs> the desert rats, once you move your forces into the front line, you can't back them off. So you need to make sure. So you use two of those? Deal one damage to an enemy unit and pin it. Maybe I just didn't do that properly. So these guys can get out and get rolling. Do they have to go? Must target a friendly non-unit tank. Oh, okay, I see. Let's save this one in our back pocket. Panzer 2C. I don't know if that means it's upgunned there or what. Okay, so we're going to have... We're going to be able to do three damage to this no matter what it looks like. Nice. Unit that is pinned can't move or attack. Pin is removed at the end of the owner's next turn. Okay, so these guys could potentially move up. Let's wait and move up together. God, they got another one of those big boy howitzers out there. Deployment. Pin an enemy unit. Okay, what do we have? Combined arms. Give a friendly tank 1-1 one, one for each unit type you control. Okay. Okay, that'll work. Let's move these guys up. Take this guy out. I can't attack. Okay. That's probably going to hurt. 
Okay, he doesn't have blitz, that's why. Let's just wait. Let's save our turn up. This isn't a fantastic attack. It looks like these two C's need to work in combination with other units. He's got zero. Oh no. The British have that convoy card. Can keep on drawing cards. It's like blue in Magic the Gathering. When this unit moves into the front line, deal three damage to the enemy HQ. Okay. Well, we just want to get this guy down. So we need this guy to move up. It looks like I can have all those guys act. It's a good attack. Oh, the unit is being guarded by this guy? So, I have to go through this guy to get to this guy. The UK also plays a lot like white in Magic the Gathering. And now I'm wondering if we did move up a little too early. Maybe we'll be okay, we'll see. So this guy could one-tap him and then one-tap someone else. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, the artillery. Jeez, 25-pounder. Valentine, Mark Three. Okay, we could blitz, blitz this guy up. So he moves up, deals three damage to the enemy base there and what's a good attack for me here oh boy it's not really a good attack I guess we just trade although they don't seem like they're very good trades to me still have some offensive capabilities next turn and we could win next turn if these remain on the battlefield get two more cards. They have seven actions. Oh no, so he guards the base, so I have to go through that, right? Pretty sure that's how that works. Guarded. No. This is tough. He has blitz and smoke screen. Smoke screen unit cannot be attacked by enemy units. A unit loses smoke screen if it moves or attacks. Units in the front line cannot have smoke screen. Okay, so he lacks smoke screen. This is so powerful. Spitfire. Okay, got that guard off, but the Spitfire is going to be able to just take out whatever it wants to. Yikes. No. Cards for days. Got Hurricane. Wow, he can come down and blitz. Nice. I don't know if my deck is just not beefy enough for this. I'm in big trouble here. They have so many cards, which means that if they go into, if we go into the late game, like what, what happened here, basically I'll lose. Yeah, the cards I drew just didn't synergize well, or I didn't have an opportunity to get them to synergize well. So that's going to be game over right there. Well, we got a uh, defeat here at Gazala. But in between games here, I'm going to try to build a better deck.
Let's go ahead and crack a few packs here and see what we get. Okay, so we get five cards a pack. Uh, so each nation is like a different color in Magic the Gathering. There's Japan, US, Germany, uh, UK, and the Soviet Union. But then I think there's others as well, like France. Okay, so we got a Banshee. Heavy Armor 1. I don't even know what that does. Units receive one less damage when attacked by other units. Unit can have Heavy Armor 3 max. It's interesting. Panzer 4G. Very expensive, but very good. 3.7 millimeter centimeter flak. Wow, it has Blitz and it's considered a tank. It's pretty cool. Naval Operation. Pin all enemy ground units and deal one damage to them. Seems good for the cost. Deadly unit. Destroy a friendly unit. Draw two cards. Wow. That's a good Japanese card. Ja in Japanese, I would equate to being red in Magic the Gathering. They're all offense. They're all blitz and offense. G4M1 Betty. If discarded, add to support line instead. Deployment. Discard a random card from your hand. So you could discard this card, but then put it to your support line without paying its cost. Destruction. Deal two damage to a random enemy. That's really good. That seems like it's really useful. Sudden Strike. Destroy a unit that costs two credits or less. It's also good. These are basically like, this is like a shock card, but it is a little expensive. And this is even better because it's like shock, but then you have an enemy, you know, a uh, Akita Regiment that basically can attack at a two to one and blitz. It's great. Bloody Sickle, deal one damage to a unit and your HQ, draw a card. Air units that attack or are attacked by type 88 AA guns are pinned. Okay, and uh, we'll end the video here. Uh, so that is cards online. Whoever uh, told me about this, thank you very much. I really enjoyed this game, and I'll definitely be playing it a lot more. Uh, free to play on Steam, and uh, really fun, really super fun. And I like the artwork, and I like the, the, that it's turn-based strategy, and uh, that it's trading cards. So please leave me a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, and I'll see you on the next one.